Hi, my name is Dennis and I would like to present you today the new features of WhatsApp Companion. WhatsApp Companion is a plugin developed by our company Orsena to improve the monitoring with WhatsApp Gold, adding more than 20 active monitors and 6 performance monitors. This video will show you uh, web and application servers monitoring, which are APH Monitor, GBoss Monitor, Tomcat Monitor, WebSphere Monitor and Zapcat Monitor. The first one is the APH Monitor. This monitor allows you to check your APH server, different values and this, this, the, the, the most values that you can have in the APH server as the server status page. So if we go on our APH server status page, we have a lot of information in this page. The monitor is checking um, this kind of values. So let's configure one active monitor for this a page server. Let's just create one. So new active monitor. And we're going to select the a page type. In this monitor, you just need to specify a name. So let's say my a page monitor, the port that we're going to use and the timeout of the request. So we just let one value to test. So which are the total access. We can configure the threshold would be five. And we're going to test on our a page server. Okay, let's test it. So now we retrieve a lot of information, but we just check the total access value. And the total access value is 77. So the written code is one, meaning the monitor is down because we put greater than five. So now on the total access, we're going to put 100. So if we want the total access of the APH server is greater than 100, then now actually the monitor is up because we don't have more than 100 access. So we're going to add this active monitor on the device and it's going to check this total access on the APH server. Okay, it's fine. It's green. Everything is working well. Good. Another monitor is the GBoss Active Monitor. It allows you to check a GBoss application server. So, our uh, GBoss Application Active Monitor uh, we have the GBoss server on this machine and we have uh, a page that is giving us a lot of information about the status of this GBoss server. So with the monitor that we, we have in WhatsApp Companion, uh, we have the availability to to check this GBoss server. So we're going to create a new GBoss Active Monitor. We select the, acti the type GBoss Active Monitor. We name it. Let's say my new uh, GBoss Monitor. And now we can directly test on the server the values that are at the moment written on the page to have a, uh, some ID on the threshold to get. So we just connect and you see that we retrieve these values and this. Uh, and so we can also add uh, manually an attribute if needed. 
So we just specify the name, the MB in the attribute, that's the type and some of the information. You can also add attributes like this. And you have all this information on the Jibo server. So all the GMX values, for example. Okay. You can then configure the threshold as any other active monitor. That's going to alert you if the, there is any problem. So it's the money if the monitor is down uh, when the value is greater than this value, for example. So let's say free memory uh, is upper than 80%. So we're going to test on our GBOS server. Okay. So now it's zero. So it means that our uh, free memory is okay. So we're going to apply this monitor to the device. Active monitors, add, and we select the, the GBOS monitor that we created before. And now it's in place. It's green. Everything is fine. With WhatsApp Companion, you can also uh, monitor your Tomcat server. So we provide um, a type, activator type for Tomcat monitor. If we go on the Tomcat server and in the status page that we connect to this page, you have plenty of information for this Tomcat server. The active monitor is gonna take all this information so free memory, total memory, max memory, max thread, etc. We create this new Tomcat monitor. We put a name for this monitor. My new Tomcat monitor. Then we set up the login to get to the page. Sorry. It's not this one, it's this one. Okay, password. We select also the port if needed. And we can click on Customize. Customize allows you to connect directly to this Tomcat server with the good credentials. And you can modify the path if needed. And then you can see which kind of connection are being uh, retrieved. So you get the information that are at the moment on your server. So it's it's easy now to say, okay, my threshold would be would not be this value, of course, with something upper or or smaller. I don't know, but you can you have um you can see directly in the monitor if there is something that is uh, what are the values at the moment. So it's it's useful. So now we're gonna check on the server. Okay, let's check that. Okay, free memory, real value is for something and it's greater than the value, the threshold that we specified. Of course, we have put two. So the monitor is considered down. If we now put eight or six, then the value of the threshold is upper. So the return code is zero and the monitor is working fine. We just need to add this active monitor to the device. Okay, and now you can see that it's green, so the monitor is up. We have also a monitor for WebSphere. Uh, so this monitor uh, allows you to monitor WebSphere server and check a lot of values on this WebSphere server. So. You have the WebSphere server that's giving you this kind of page, okay? And in this page, uh, a lot of 
status and values are stored. So that's the page that we're gonna connect to to get to get most information and that we're gonna monitor. So we're going to the active monitor library and we create this new WebSphere active monitor. So let's click on new WebSphere active monitor. Okay. It's working. So name. Uh, my new WebSphere active monitor. And we set up the login that we need to connect to this page. the port, the version of uh, the web sphere. And we're gonna also try directly to connect that to the web sphere server, just putting the IP address, the port and the login. Okay, we got the value, we got the server, so it's working fine. Then we have all the values that we can have and we can test directly on the server to see the value that are now on the server. So for example, the heap size, which is high. Yeah, that's the only value that we have at the moment. So we configure this value. And then we validate. So the web sphere monitor is working. We just need to apply to the device this monitor to check this value. We just put it in the active monitor, add the Westphere. And now we are checking this value. Okay. Waiting is down, yes, because our IP size is not good. Then we repull. Okay, now it's up. The last monitor that we have is the Zapcat monitor. Uh, so this one communicates with an agent on the server uh, for the application. So, for example, we have the Zapcat communicating with the Tomcat application and we're going to just uh, make the connection between WhatsApp and the Zapcat agent. So we have the Tomcat server and we have the Zapcat here, which is uh, just a, a zip. So we put this, this uh, archive on the Tomcat server and you can see that when we put that, uh, the Tomcat server directly see that there is the Zapcat added to it. So when we connect to our Tomcat server on the Zapcat page, we have a page to monitor applications. Now, what we're going to do is access to this page through the Zapcat monitor. So we just create a Zapcat monitor, put the name, my new Zapcat monitor, put the port, timeout, and we're going to import XML from the server, just connecting to it. Okay, and now we got all the values that we're going to check. Okay. So it's very nice to have this kind of agent. We're going to check, for example, the number of bytes sent. We can modify this, the threshold of these bytes sent here. You can also make Zapcat query. Uh, like customize Zapcat query to the agent. Then we select device. Okay, so we see return going zero. So it means that our byte sends are under or smaller than 
the, the threshold specified. So we're going to add on the device, the active monitor. Okay. Add this monitor. Next, next. Finish. Okay, the monitor is fine. It's green, so it's working fine. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. And uh, don't forget to go on our website to check the news on WhatsApp Companion, or you can contact us by email or phone. Bye-bye.